Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Here we're going to look at the important symptoms and the occurrence in cataract. So cataract and the important symptoms, call it this way. So the first one being the symptom of, let's look, name the cataract, it'll be easier. So cataract, the cortical cataract. So in case of cortical cataract, it is uh, in case of the incipient stage. So cataract, cortical cataract and the incipient stage, the symptom which we most commonly see is the monoocular diplopia. Monoocular diplopia. Next. It's diplopia. Next is we move on to the nuclear cataract. So nuclear, this is being easy. So in case of nuclear, it will be the shift, the color shift is what is seen. Then cortical cataract. The cortical cataract is cortical cataract will be seen. What is seen? The symptom is the index hypermetropia. So index hypermetropia is nothing but the cortical cataract. Next we move on to the posterior, posterior subcapsular cataract. So here in posterior subcapsular cataract, what is the finding? So here the symptom is, the, in case of the posterior subcapsular cataract and the nuclear cataract, there is loss of ability to see the objects in the bright sunlight. Loss of ability. So loss of the ability to see in the sunlight. So this is what is seen. And also the blinded by the light coming from the headlamps when driving at night. Also there is an issue with driving at night. All this is the conditions of the posterior subcapsular cataract and the nuclear cataract. So driving issues at night, driving at night. Next is, we look at the nuclear cataract. The nuclear cataract, we discussed earlier, this color shift. Next, there can also be the second site. So in terms of the nuclear cataract, they can also be associated with the second site myopic shift and the index myopia. So there is second site myopic shift as well as the index myopia. So all this associated with nuclear. Next we look at the diabetic cataract. This is very important, diabetic cataract. So diabetic cataract, it is associated with the fluctuating. So this is due to the fluctuating blood sugar levels. And this is again concerned with the fluctuation in the refractive errors. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.